Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here doing a video, doing a full review of the official Jelly Bean update on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. It's finally here. You have to manually install the update with your computer if you want to install it. I have a video on, on how to do that. I will link to it in the description. That's the official way to get it. You are not going to get an over-the-air notification, so just a heads up there. I uh, want to just go ahead and do a full review, talk about changes from ice cream sandwich to jelly bean, things you can look out for. First of all, I want to go ahead and go into settings, scroll all the way down, go to about device. You will see it is Android 4.1.2, baseband version says GB27, and so does software version down there. So that would be um, what software you're on, it's called GB27, but it is 4.1.2 jelly bean. So not the latest jelly bean, je the latest being 4.2. Uh, but 4.1 is still a, a, a pretty good update from Ice Cream Sandwich. Now anyways, I did want to make a note that uh, it does integrate some features from the Galaxy S3, which is kind of nice that Samsung is doing that. You'll see it uh, looks a little bit different here. You've got four applications down here and you have an app drawer button. Go ahead and go into your app drawer and you can swipe through all of your applications. And you also have a separate button for widgets there. And you can swipe through all your widgets. You'll see it's, it's got icons for all of the various widgets. As usual, you can press and hold on an icon and it's going to go ahead and bring you to your home screen. You'll notice with Jelly Bean, you can actually put it on top of a widget or an application and it will move it to make space for where you want to put it. So that's just a little neat feature of Jelly Bean, another updated feature. Anyways, I also wanted to talk about the new notification pull down bar right here. So pull it on down, you'll see it looks different. Uh, it also functions different. So you see you have an extra icon there for sync, 4G, sound, GPS, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. you got the date and the time in the upper left-hand corner. You've got a settings button there. You can clear all your notifications. You can still swipe away notifications as well. These notifica certain notifications are actual, actually expandable and contractable. So you see two fingers on it, up and down. You can expand and contract them. You can do it also like pinch zoom. If you, if you like it that way better. I just like using two fingers up and down. So that's just a personal preference. But yeah, you can expand them. You'll also get not just email. This is Gmail notifications. But you also get uh, phone calls. If you miss a call, you can expand it and hit call back. It's actually really neat. Uh, down here, you'll see if you pull down the notification bar, the screen starts to dim and lighten up as the, as the panel goes up and down. So that's just another neat feature about the notification panel. Also with the Jelly Bean update, you have Google Now. I know it's something that a lot of people have been waiting for. Um, go ahead and go into Google Now. You'll see it'll show some cards. Uh, you can show some sample cards. It's actually going to show maybe scores of games. Depending on things that you search for, uh, you can actually edit your favorite teams and settings to show up. Let's say, for example, I like the Blackhawks score to show up, so I can just look that up. Um, and then you have Google Now. You can do a Google search or a voice search. What's the weather like in Phoenix, Arizona? It's 86 degrees and partly cloudy in Phoenix. So there you go. Just uh, another nice of the voice search. Wow, you see this weekend is getting over 90. I'm... That's insane. So, sorry. Um, anyways, uh, I'm just tired of the cold weather personally. So you can ask it so many different things. What's the tallest building in the world? Burj Khalifa. There you go. So there's the tallest building in the world if you were wondering. Um, I actually have a video showing talking about some cool things you can ask Google Now. I can link to that in the description of the video. So Google Now being another awesome update included with Jelly Bean. You also have Project Butter, it's called. When opening and closing applications, it's supposed to be a smoother animation going between certain ones. You'll see the dialer is different, an updated dialer. It looks just like the Galaxy S3, actually. So uh, they're trying to get all the software unified and similar, so you can go from one device to another and know what you're doing just because it looks so similar and feels similar. There are also some other neat features that are on the S3 and Note 2, such as pop-up play. So what that is, is when you watch a video, so go ahead and go to my video player. I just did a quick video here uh, of just me video recording the desk. So I can play that, and it actually has pop-up play. So I can press this icon down here, and it will show the video while I'm running through my home screen. You can move the video around put it wherever you want and still go ahead and reply to messages etc while you're watching this video. So that's just another neat feature that uh, it does have pop-up play. It also has direct call so when you're in uh, a message here and you actually when you're in a message with someone this is I think a sprint number and you put the your phone up to your face. I'm going to try this. I'm going to put it right up to my ear. It'll vib do a little vibrate and then it will start to call that person. So right away um, that's just an, a great feature. It's called direct call. 
There's many other motion features. You can go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, and you'll see motion right there. A direct call, which is what I just showed, where you put it up to your face when you're in a message and it calls the person, double tap to top, tilt to zoom, pan to move icons, pan to browse images, shake to update, and turn over to mute pause. So those are some of the motion features that are included with this Jelly Bean update on the Epic 4G Touch. Now I also wanted to go ahead and talk about the lock screen. So you'll see pretty standard, very similar to Ice Cream Sandwich, just swipe away, but there's also some customizations you can make under lock screen settings here. So you'll see screen lock, you have various ones, motion, face and lock, pattern, pin, password, all your standard lock screens. And then you have options here. So you can turn on shortcuts and you can set these shortcuts. So we can add one. Uh, if you wanted to go ahead and add a calculator shortcut or maybe even a messaging shortcut if you go to messaging a lot, you can add whatever you want actually, your phone, anything, my files, any application you want to your sh uh, shortcuts. And then when you go ahead and go to your lock screen, you'll see down at the bottom, you have these shortcuts here that you can swipe away like normal and unlock the screen or you can press on the icon and swipe up and it takes you straight to that application. So that's just another neat lock screen feature um, that's included with this update. Uh, there's other options as well, information, ticker, clock, dual clock if you're roaming. There, you can have weather show on the lock screen and camera quick access as well. So those are some, some other lock screen options that you have with this update. Uh, as I said, the dialer, is just like the S3, I did mention that. And then the camera application is different, I do believe. Uh, it does have some settings. Go ahead and go back to camera. You can take standard pictures real quick. Take a picture. Um, go ahead and just snap another one. And go. you have a bunch of settings here. Just go ahead and go into settings. GPS tag, portrait flash, exposure, resolution, a bunch of different settings. You also have shooting modes with face detection, panorama, beauty, smile shot, cartoon and some, maybe some effects, black and white, sepia, negative, and uh, that's about it. So those are just, uh, just a quick overview of the camera application taking pictures. And then also when you go ahead and press and hold on the home button, it takes you to your recent running applications. You can swipe those away. Um, you can go ahead and go into them. So if you wanted to quickly swap between applications, you can. You can just go right back and forth between them. Just press and hold that home button and it shows up. As I said, you can swipe them away. You can press this garbage can down here and it gets rid of all of them, which is a great feature, very nifty. You have Task Manager here and then you have Google Now right there. So press that G and it takes you straight into Google, Google Now and you can go ahead and check out your cards. So I can press the garbage can, go back home, and then you'll see Google Now is the only one left. And now I have no recent apps. So that's it, just figured I wanted to show that. And then also, one more thing I wanted to show is the smart app updates in the Play Store. When you actually have an update to an application, it's not gonna go ahead and download the full application of the new one. It's just gonna go ahead and download the update that you do need. So that's just a little neat feature from Jelly Bean that so download times aren't gonna take as long and updating isn't gonna take nearly as long on Jelly Bean. So overall, that's about it. I'm sure I missed some stuff. Let me know if you find any cool things that you wanna mention. Just leave a comment, let everyone know. Uh, and that's about it. Please subscribe to me for future videos. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.